Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing some cooking. We are going to make a super healthy pot noodle, uh, which is perfect for if you are out of work or you're having to have lunch on the go. You can just get it all prepped at home and then literally just add water and it's something nutritious and delicious and lunch on the go or dinner or whatever. But what it is, is like a Thai green curry type thing. So it's really yummy and healthy and good for being on the move. So I'm just going to run through our ingredients. First of all, I've got a big glass jar, uh, which is a great thing to go in. You can use any sort of jar really, I suppose you could use a heavy duty plastic one as well. Something that will take boiling water. I've got some coconut oil, some corn chicken pieces, because I think these are, I always worry a little bit about using real chicken and having it in your bag or whatever and it's sitting out. Plus these are super low fat, quick to cook. Um, so yeah, some corn chicken. I've got some creamed coconut. You could use coconut milk, this is just what I've had. And some Thai green curry paste that you could use red if you prefer. And I've got some egg noodles. No, some rice noodles I've got, instant rice noodles. It's important that they're instant. And some sugar snaps because they are delicious. I have one of those now. And that's it off, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with a little bit of coconut oil, probably about a teaspoon, I would say. Once the coconut oil is melted, just going to throw in a handful of chicken. Corn chicken. Oh, that's quite loud. Just a handful's fine because I'm just making this for me today. Obviously, if you're making it for more people, then just add more handfuls. Just going to cook that through. Just takes a few minutes. While the chicken's cooking, we're just going to get the other bits and pieces ready. We're going to start off with our jar and just grab our noodles and start assembling our pot noodles. So just going to pop the noodles into the jar. You might have to break them up a bit to squish them in. So we're just going to mix a bit of our creamed coconut in with some hot water. I'd use about 25 grams, so not very much at all. Just really enough to give that coconutty flavour. So I'm going to pop that into a jar there. And then just pour in about 100 millilitres of boiling water. And just stir that around so it's really well combined. And I'm just going to add in a bit of the curry paste into our sauce that we're making. So probably about half a tablespoon in, um, in here and just mix it in with the coconut milk that we've just made. So one thing I forgot to mention earlier, because there's always something that I forget to mention, is a little bit of corn flour. Now this is just to thicken up the sauce. So just literally, um, half a teaspoon into a little dish. Now the thing is with corn flour is if you put it straight into a hot liquid then it goes all lovely so you need to mix it with a little bit of cold water. So just about half a teaspoon into, I've just put mine into a little ramekin, I'm just going to add a splash of cold water and mix it together. Then once that's mixed in that can just go straight into the curry paste mixture. So once our chicken's cooked, we're going to set that to one side. Then I just want to thicken up our sauce a bit. So we're going to put the same pan back on the hob, whack the heat up, pour the sauce in, then just literally cook it for a couple of minutes until it's thickened up. So if I was getting this ready to take to work the next day or something, then I would now just pop my sauce, my nice thickened sauce, into a little pot, a little container that I can take with me. Right, so we've got all of our bits and pieces. Now it's just the last bits of assembly of our pot noodle. So let's put it all together. 
So the noodles are already in. We're going to pop our corn chicken on top. There we are. Handful of sugar snaps, however you want really. That will do. Come on, me. And then pour our sauce in, which obviously if you've made this the day before, this would be cold, which would be terribly dry. That's what we're going to put on top. Then, just enough water to cover the noodles. You don't want too much, otherwise it'll end up too thin, the sauce. So there we go, it's probably about halfway up the jar. We're going to pop the lid on and leave it to stand. The noodles take about three minutes, so we'll give it that long to stand. We'll give it a bit of a shake, make sure that the noodles are all covered with water. And then it's just a case of waiting. So once we've had three minutes, going to give it a good mix up, make sure those noodles are really well done, give it a proper mix, it smells really good. So that's it, it's all mixed up, now all that's left to do is eat it. Mm, it's really good, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's given you some ideas and I will see you next time.